have to wonder about people who still think the election was stolen from Trump. Even Trump himself on Truth Social has been pushing this narrative, and I'm wondering how he thinks this is any sort of winning strategy for him. I mean, sure, his diehard fans will agree, whoopee. The more he says it, the more his fans say it, the more ridiculous they all look. Now, having said that, if I had to choose between DeSantis or Trump, I'd choose Trump in a heartbeat. You know, because Trump's policies don't include gutting Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, and other social programs and safety nets. He's also not a warmonger. I don't know that much about DeSantis in that area, though. I mean, other than he's a pretty standard Republican, and most standard Republican politicians are warmongers. It's just very common. Not always, but it's very common. Now, if people think the election was symbolically stolen from Trump, then fine, whatever, whatever. That's, that's fine. You can say that, but don't try to get people to take you seriously. Now, if you think it was stolen from Trump via five years of anti-Trump propaganda, you know, where every phrase was put under a microscope, especially ones that are taken out of context where it means something totally different. Yeah, if that's how you think it was stolen from Trump, then, then I'd agree, with the exception of actually saying that it's stolen. I think it's stupid to label it that way. It makes you look like an idiot, as I've said before. You know, if you think it's the media, then shy away from saying that it was stolen. It's, it's just dumb. You know, as there were many things to be very concerned about Trump's approach on a number of issues, he wasn't the evil fascist that so much of media made him out to be. His policies themselves weren't really that outrageous. He's a terrible, terrible judge of character, though. He surrounds himself with just awful people. And I think that is probably the worst thing about Trump during his presidency, besides him not knowing when to shut up. But if you honestly think Biden won because of fraud... Yeah, I, I have to question your ability to perceive some pretty obvious things outside of your own biases. Claiming the election was fraudulent ignores the much, much, much larger possibility that's right in front of us. That legacy media is very powerful. It's still very powerful. It's lost some power over the past few years, but it's still very powerful. And that legacy media itself does not exist for the benefit of the citizens of this country. Brought to you by Pfizer. So go ahead and keep pushing this stolen narrative. It's a really bad look. It makes you look unintelligent. But by all means, keep pushing it. Freedom of speech.